All right, Coach, why don't you start with an opening statement? Well, today was a game where um, terrific opponent, well coached, great athletes, Shenandoah University, and you just have to tell your own team, hey, we're going to play baseball and compete to the fullest of our ability. And I think we did that today. We, we competed to the fullest of our ability and played hard until the last out was made. It seemed like you were you didn't you didn't have to take make a change. Like your starter, he was cruising, but he kind of struggled there, and then you, you maybe it might have been a quick hook, but it, it turned out to be a great decision. Right. Have confidence in my pitching staff and the depth of it. It's one of the reasons we're here. And rather than err on the side of leaving somebody in a little too long, I think the secret in the course of an entire year is knowing when to make that move and better to make it earlier rather than later. And that was the case today, going right to Cormac. And then when Cormac did his thing, ended with a strikeout, I knew I was going right to Matt uh, for the ninth inning. Matt, the ninth inning was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> Um, in, in talking to Jason, he said, you know, it's, it, is it really a closer unless you have that kind of uh, that kind of action? Did you get at all nervous when Shenandoah had runners at first and second uh, with nobody out? Um, one of the big things I just try to do is just keep my cool out there, whether it be an error, a hit, a home run, um, whatever happens, I trust my guys in the field to make the next play. So um, it was really just trusting my guys out there and just making the next pitch. How big of it was that you got Booker out on uh, him popping up? Uh, when he, on the attempted sacrifice. That was very big. He's having a great day at the plate, so to get him without moving any of the runners over was huge for us, and uh, just getting the next guy was the only thing going through my head. And Billy, you didn't make, take any time to see a pitch you liked. I mean, first one, and you deposited it over the fence. What, what were you looking for, and is, is that what you were hoping to see when the, the, the first offering? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, you got to tip our hat to our coaching staff for having the trust to put me in, in that situation. I mean, we got a ton of guys with a ton of talent that can contribute in many ways. So, I mean, Tommy's my best friend. He wasn't having his day. I was able to go in and pick him up. We have each other's backs all the time. Uh, Shenandoah was an amazing ball club. That was one of my favorite games, honestly, ever. Cool. All right, Ross, what does this mean to be now in the complete driver's seat going into tomorrow? Well, it means you still have to get it done, regardless of what the schedule turns out to be tomorrow, 9 a.m. game. Um, um, we've got to come ready to play. And I'm, I'm confident our guys can finish the job, and uh, it's a privilege to be there, coach. Um, you know, I stay in coaching for the privilege of coaching guys like Billy Duke, Matt Tessarero, and Tommy Antonucci, and they have each other's backs, but those are three guys that keep me in coaching, and um, I'm proud to be their coach. Thank you, gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Hey.